All right, so I'm gonna begin off by confessing to a um, very small amount of cheese here. Um, now, as you can tell, I haven't uh, reset the game. Um, I, I did uh, test it just to see how everything looked with the textures and um, uh, the, the good news is, is that it didn't look like I was really missing anything with the textures in there. Um, basically, it's, it doesn't load, well, obviously it doesn't load the water, but then there's some other uh, small things like cactus objects. Like, that's pretty much what was always hurting me. There's like a cactus right here in this area here. Um, the, the doorways for all these buildings, um, surprisingly enough, are... Uh, still gone so the um the, the the only issue really is that um the minute you try to do a save state it um it deloads uh everything so it yeah, basically, if I wanted to keep the textures around, I, I just could not use save states whatsoever. I mean, unless I figure out some setting in there, but I don't really feel like uh, messing around with um, the stuff with the, the graphics settings. I'm not super knowledgeable on that. Um, so, yeah, for the most part, we're probably just going to have to uh, accept not having, um, you know, all the, you know, textures and stuff, so. Yeah, there's that, and I, I kind of uh, spied out a location where I think the, um, the final star is, while I was sort of just running around, because I, I wanted to just to run around and test everywhere in in the level just to make sure that I wasn't going to be missing something with um, with the textures like if they're making sure there wasn't anything downstairs out in that um, waterfall cavern which um, fortunately there wasn't basically just uh, missing the uh, cool waterfalls that are coming out of the different uh, crevices in there and um yeah so it, it was yeah it was pretty heartbreaking having to uh having to deal with you know screwing up this hundred coin star as so yeah just in that really dumb way that i ended up doing just for the uh opportunity to go back around and collect all these coins again but like I said fortunately the yeah all the coins were pretty simple to get you, there wasn't too much um, obnoxious uh, running around that you have to do and I can't remember uh, if there were, I should have double checked the video again before I recorded today. I just sort of played around things after I was done with the last segment. Uh, no. I, there, I know there was coins up there where I have to do that triple jump. I can't remember if I actually needed them or not, but wow, that was great sliding physics, man. Uh, <laughs> I almost did it two times in a row. That was cool. But yeah. Yeah, to take my mind off of how dumb I failed in that last video, I went back to the Halo Master Chief Collection with the, um... Oh, yeah, thanks. Yeah, with, uh, doing the Master Chief playlist. I could have sworn there were coins up here. Was I just imagining that? Maybe I was. Alright, well, let me just go back down, because I know there's plenty of coins down here now. Let's not spend forever on that. There... Yeah, I knew there were some coins hanging out around the... the back side of the course. 
But yeah, I went to the Master Chief Collection and going through the, um, the, the Master Chief Story playlist, since it is on normal difficulty, like I said last time, it's um, a fairly can. Oh, see, there we go. Once again, the cactuses that I can't see. But yeah, normal difficulty is pretty um, useful for doing all the collectibles. Basically, like finding the um, hidden terminals and skulls that they put in the um, the remake versions. I uh, can't get over on this side, can I? I'm gonna have to go all the way around. Ugh. That's that's really cool. Of course, like with um, this game, all not all collectibles are created equal because. There's definitely a few that are uh, fairly annoying to get. Like, I, there was one that you have to do a rather precise grenade jump for, and I literally spent about, again, two segments in a row getting hit by a pokey. Yeah, I spent about 20 minutes trying to do that grenade jump. Just to grab the skull. The funny thing is, is that, you know, you technically don't have to do these skulls for anything other than achievements, um, because you can use the skulls already without having to um, find them in game, which I have to go back to, well, since I'm doing the Halo one, I'd have to go back to the the 360 uh, release of the uh, anniversary edition of um, Halo 1 to see if... Uh... Oh my god! No! Wait, can I... Maybe I can... Yeah, maybe I can just use this to get back up. I'm like, please tell me I went all that distance for nothing. But yeah, I have to dig up the 360 version to see if if you had to um, unlock the, uh... What? Come on! I hit a press kick! Let's go! And I'm pretty sure there was one more of these guys around here somewhere. At least I thought there was. Yeah, there we are. Yeah, just... Because I can't remember if you had to collect them before you could use them in that one. I kind of want to say that you did, but that was... A pretty long time ago that I um, originally did that, and yeah, now I have to go back over here anyway, because it's the only way to um, get back up to where I need to try. Let's see if I can do... I have an idea how I might be able to jump over to where I saw something. We'll see how well it works. Oh wait, I'm not on the higher level. Yeah, the, the skulls are a rather interesting aspect to the Halo games because there are some of them, well, that are kind of um, just for for fun, but most of them are ones that sort of add a extra layer of challenge. And um, yeah, for anyone that's not familiar with it, there is a... Uh, specific challenge where you complete the games with um, all the skulls, which is an all legendary difficulty, um, again, which is well beyond anything I'd ever want to really try and attempt. I think I've, like, tried to goof around with it once, but um, yeah, it's really obnoxiously difficult, because for one, you're already playing a legendary difficulty, and then you're dealing with um, all these skulls which do all kinds of great things like uh, removing your heads-up display so you can't see, you know, what your weapons or your shield and health. And then you also have, um, you know, ones that increase the enemies. Um, 
uh, rank, so they're stronger and gives them gives them more health. And um, depending on what game you're playing, um, you know, well, actually, for I think it's all the games they have um, a skull that basically makes it so. Any time you find ammo from a uh, dropped enemy weapon, that it only ever has half the ammo, and I'm pretty sure most of them have one that, like, that uh, each um, shot you fire uh, takes two bullets instead of just one. And then the Halo 2, which was already the, um, ugh, come on, yeah, Halo 2 was already the most difficult. Halo game on Legendary, in my opinion. Okay, yeah, that's those clips there, I think. I don't think I ever um, try to jump on those, so let's see what happens here. Or, you know, just do the ground pound instead, but yeah, Halo 2 has a special skull that I think is exclusive to that that makes all the enemies have permanent active camo, so they're all invisible. So your allies, who are already pretty useless, are now even more useless because they can't see enemies, so they won't ever be able to help you, and oh good, here's a cave. <sighs> Gee, what fun, huh? So yeah, that's something I'll, I'd will i never do, but you, know, but you have some fun ones that um, can be surprisingly helpful, like things like the uh, Grunt Birthday Party Skull, which if you, anytime you get a headshot on the um, Grunt enemies, they uh, there's like a yay sound, and then you um, also get a, like a, a shower of confetti, which which apart from being fun, is actually pretty useful to um, judge when you actually get a headshot on them. So that's one that's a good one to have um, under regular circumstances but yeah some of them like I said are really kind of annoying to get they require grenade jumps and grenade jumps are more challenging in um, Halo 1 than they are in some of the later games I think just because of kind of how the physics work but most of them are ones, okay, you just have to go to this obscure, you know, you just have to find this, like, obscure location in the map that you have to go to that you probably would never normally think to, um, look, and, oh boy, here we go again. Okay, so we're gonna start going over there and... Red coins again. Ugh. But yeah, I, you know, yeah, doing the mastery place will probably be a good way to get all those and the the hidden terminals, with the exception of Halo 2, because naturally, being Halo 2, there are a couple skulls that are exclusive to playing on Legendary difficulty. They, you know, they won't show up at any other time. Huh. <sighs> Yeah, just make me go all the way across the map, why don't you? Alright, yeah, we want to be very uh, meticulous because when I did the other boo course, there was one hiding in a rather weird spot that I totally missed originally. See, so, yeah, I don't know if I'll end up bothering collecting those or not. It's kind of fun getting the achievements for those kind of things, but I mean, having to play through so many of the levels on Legendary is one of those things where it's like, oh man, it's, it's almost not even worth it. And this platform, man, this is really something else. These tricky triangles. Is there really only one coin on this first uh, section? Oh, right, well, here we go. There might be something else going on up here. But, okay, let's look around um, Blue's platform here. 
All right, we got flame jet. There we go. I knew there had to be one. See, all that uh, uh, talk about the Halo 2 collecting's quests, um, I guess it's kind of a roundabout way of saying, you know, as I think about other games to do, and hey, all right, I can actually see where he went this time. It's kind of a roundabout way of getting something I kind of um, made my mind on, made my mind up on as far as uh, oh, well, not my smartest move, but yeah, I I know one thing for sure when it comes to. Uh, a new game, I would not do anything from Rare. <laughs> because, I mean, it's, it's... Oh, how did I not climb up? That, that was... That was mean. Oh, pfft. Well, it's not quite as bad as the damage I took the last time. All right. Let's not fall. The yeah, rare, I mean, for all the the great games that they made, like the Donkey Kong Country series and um, uh, things like Jet Force Gemini and um, Goldeneye and stuff, they have a really annoying obsession with mandatory collection quests. And, and I say mandatory because, I mean. So some of the games you, can, I guess you can kind of be without getting everything, but like I can look at something like um, uh, Jet Force Gemini is a great example where you literally cannot beat the game without um, finding every single tribal, which I felt was really excessive. It's like okay, you know. Finding most of them, sure. <laughs> or, you know, a certain amount, but like, like literally not letting you beat the game, you know, without getting, wow, oh, snap. I knew that was coming too. I, this behind the camera, I couldn't see where I was in relation to the flame shooter up there. Yeah, that one was awful. And then, yeah, you know, Goldeneye, <laughs> is kind of an interesting case in that um, it was a question of, um, you know, it, it was more that extra stuff was locked behind some really obnoxious um, requirements. Like, like if you wanted some of the, the, the more um, fun sort of cheats, like, there, there were some that had just the most obnoxious unlock requirements. And I'm also kind of convinced that um, they were partially being sponsored by GameShark because, yeah, there was like literally no way. All right, this is a very bad idea. Wait, but there's like literally no way most people were ever going to get... Um, you know, so many of those unlocks. I mean, it, the difficulty level was just insane on some of them because some of them, it could literally be a luck-based mission. Um, I think, there, I forget, it was one, I can't remember which cheat it was. I know it was for one of the really um, uh, handy ones, like, it was either, like, invincibility or infinite ammo or all guns or something like that. Um, but it was the, the one facility level where you had to beat the game, or, well, not beat the game, beat the, uh, beat the level in, you know, such and such amount of time. Very, it was a very short window of time. And then, you know, on the, on what, I think it was, you had to be on the highest difficulty level. Which is, it fine well enough, but it becomes a, uh, it becomes a luck-based mission when you consider that, um, like, one of the, the mission, um, objectives was you had to find 
or we get to rendezvous with Dr. Doak somewhere in the facility. Now, the thing with that is, um, he could, oh, it's over there. All right. How, how do they want me? Oh, okay. I think I can make a long jump over here. But yeah, he could spawn in a number of different locations. And there's really only one um, location that was basically, um, you know, good enough that you would have a, enough of a time window to get the, um, the time limit requirement. So, yeah, I mean, the average person, I mean, you, you, I guess if you grind away enough of them, which is kind of the point, but, man, so, for some people, like, with the, the way some of those objectives were strict, man, there was, yeah, a lot, a lot of there was no way. I was always kind of grateful to have that. Uh, yeah, if I want all these cheats, let me just, like, uh, game shark that. That that sounds good to me. <laughs> um, but yeah, other than that, um, yeah, Donkey Kong Country, or not Donkey Kong, well, Donkey Kong 64, I, I should say, they had, um, I know that some fun things like you had to, uh, do, like, I think, I can't remember, like, how, how strict the, um, like, getting every single thing in the game was, but, like, some of the collection quests were really poor, like, getting, like, photographs of all the banana fairies, and, um, then for, uh, I think it was the DK coins, you had to beat the um, original arcade version of Donkey Kong twice, which once was already kind of hard enough, so having to do that twice was, I mean, that, that was really stretching the limits of tolerance for what I could put up with, and I don't know if I wanted to be up here. Uh, can I triple jump over here or something? Oh, lol. I'm probably making this harder than it needs to be. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. What the? Okay. <laughs> sure, damage boost into him. That's great. I will accept that. <laughs> All right. King Boo 2 clear. So now... We we can uh, move on to the final castle. And, um, yeah, because we got the... Uh, we found the toads in um, castles 1 and 2. So I'm pretty sure... Not much else going on in the other castles now that we have to worry about it. Hey, this one actually went into the keyhole. How handy. All right, now this, yeah, these castles keep getting um, more fancy and elaborate. Now we gotta find out the uh, find course 11. So let's try in here. Well, we got UFO and what is that? Some sort of Yoshi on a Rubik's cube. Well, let's, you know, Rubik's Cube. <laughs> let's look at Rubik's Cube. Now, that's course 14. Um. Yeah, that's not what we want. I should have saved save before going in there. So, I'm going to guess that uh, UFO is not, um. Is not the, uh, the right level either. And then that will probably be the boss room down there. So what we got over here? Um, some sort of like blue volcano and some sort of crazy pyramid blocks. Um, all right, let's save before we jump in this time so I don't have to run all the way back into the castle. 12, nope. But the other one might be. All right, so mushroom, no.
can, do I hear Blue Volcano? Well, I guess that's a good sign, because in the other castle, the uh, the door actually needed the star. Oh, this is like a factory. Like a castle factory or something. Um, okay, that one's not it either. Well, then where do you want to go? I can't have missed a level back in the other area. Well, wait a minute. Let's see. I didn't go up, up, up. I just want to find the next course. Okay, no, there's the... Oh, maybe there's those double doors down there then. Huh. What the hell? All right, we're out back. What's this? Oh, all right. Well, you know what? I'll just, I forgot to save before I walked in the store because I figured it was going to be another room, but yeah, we'll just save here at this title screen and I guess we're doing a ghost house because this is Macabre Manor. So that'll be next time. All right, later.